Hello, my name is Jeremy Perry. I'm a student at Columbia Southern University, and this is my fire prevention video. Now, I have a disclaimer. I am not a certified firefighter or fire inspector, but this video is meant to replicate me being a firefighter, explaining to business owners the importance of fire safety and prevention. I am Inspector Perry, and in this video, I will discuss the following topics. The three E's and what they are. How codes are enforced. Code with new and existing occupancies. Fire resistance determinations. Types of tests used to determine these. How do fire tests and ratings apply? And summary. So just what are the three E's? Fire prevention can be summed up into three words education, enforcement, and engineering. These three are relevant today as interventions to prevent fires, injuries, and property loss associated with fires. Education for fire and injury prevention can be vast and should provide insight and confidence in fire prevention and control. When it comes to the specific community you live in, there may be specific needs for different residents. Having personnel who can devote their time to the education of preventing the fires from even happening or advising people on evacuation techniques can greatly reduce the trends. For education in my community, we have things such as a social media platform that allows the population to view videos, and contact the station, and even be made aware of educational opportunities that they might be able to attend. From home evacuation plans, to conducting fire drills, and even maintaining smoke alarms, education can be beneficial to the community if you involve them. Engineering can consist of better materials engineered to resist fires in construction. Engineering also includes the emplacement of suppression systems, fire doors, and separations. A factor that may be overlooked is the placement of exit signs and smoke alarms. During the de development phase, plans are reviewed to ensure that multiple engineering factors have been implemented. Enforcement pertains to having more strict laws and the stern ability to enforce those. When it comes to enforcing fire codes, whether it be for new construction or old, only qualified experienced personnel should be utilized. From history, codes and communities have evolved to enact more stringent codes to help prevent the trend of events. These codes are in place to better protect the property, the people within it, and any external objects as well. As time progresses, so too do the codes being enforced. So how is code enforced? In the town of Apex, North Carolina, the fire code is enforced by three separate level three fire inspectors. One of the inspectors focuses on new construction inspections during that process from start to finish. Another inspector has the responsibility of doing annual fire inspections. These annual inspections are a requirement and vary on the occupancy type. The last inspector works on plan reviews and administrative duties. From time to time, this inspector also assists with inspections when needed. The inspectors here follow a state mandated inspection for all businesses. This means that each business in Apex is inspected either on a one, two, or even three year schedule, depending on the occupancy of the building. How do we apply code to new and existing occupancies? Well, all new construction must comply with the currently adopted North Carolina Fire Code. Existing buildings are required to comply with the code that was in place at the time that the building was constructed. Unless, of course, there is a change of use for the building. At this time, the building would need to be brought up to the current building code standards. In determining the resistance of building materials, the inspectors for the town of Apex ensure that certain guidelines are met 
whether it be new construction or existing construction being repurposed. The plan review section ensure compliance with codes and town ordinances. The overall determination of fire resistance and ratings is conducted through UL or Underwriters Laboratories, LLC. UL is a full service provider of fire safety testing and certification services for stakeholders around the world. The building codes require UL ratings for almost all fire rated materials. Fire rated wall, floor and ceiling assemblies provide necessary fire and smoke barriers. That means everything from the lumber in the walls to the very siding on the exterior of the building may at some point were UL tested. UL does the testing for these said materials utilizing a third party. They test assemblies to international standards, identifying an hourly rating and supporting code requirements. So how do fire tests and ratings apply? When you have a business or businesses who utilize flammable material, there also has to be a means of safeguarding the occupants of that very building. Fire ratings are therefore verified to meet the requirements for protection and UL listed for approved use. This is usually seen in fire doors and separations. Now let's recap what we've discussed. We discussed the three E's and how they affect fire prevention, education, enforcement, and engineering. We talked about code enforcement and how they are used with new and old occupancies. I covered the UL testing and resistance determinations and how they apply. So you as the business owner should now have a better understanding of the importance of fire prevention and what is required in the overall scheme. You should also understand that as design and construction processes take place, your project may be scrutinized from time to time. This is only done to protect you, the business owner, and the personnel within your facility. You should make it a priority to always educate your employees on fire evacuation and prevention. Thank you.